on February 13, 2019, Haley Morris, a perfectly healthy 20-year-old, suddenly collapsed at her parents' house, was rushed to the hospital, but passed away shortly afterwards. The cause of death was later on discovered to be hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, a rare genetic vascular disease whereby some of the patient's blood vessels develop abnormally and can sometimes lead to life-threatening consequences. My name is Stella Tovish. I'm originally from Beirut, Lebanon, but I'm currently residing in France. I'm a second year PhD student at Grenoble Alp University, and I carry out my research activities at the INSERM Unit 1036. INSERM is the only public research organization in France entirely dedicated to the human health. It's in fact one of the best research institutions in the health sector in the world. For my research project, I study the molecular mechanisms underlying the pathogenesis of hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia in order to propose new treatments for the patients. I do so by isolating cells from the blood of patients through a relatively non-invasive manner and comparing them to cells isolated from healthy individuals. I study the shape, function, and response to external factors of these cells. Therefore, I use a lot of cell culture, microscopy, and molecular biology techniques. I work with a team, and I receive a lot of scientific and technical support from my supervisors. My individual research project is funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 program, and it's part of an international training network called VA Cure. This network brings together several academic laboratories and companies, in addition to 14 PhD students, all working in the field of vascular anomalies. I chose to be part of this program because for personal reasons, I greatly value the importance of research done on rare diseases. And I believe that most vascular anomalies suffer from unmet clinical needs. But with the appropriate studies, we can truly make a positive change in the lives of these patients.